you also described fear kills instinct. So those right. two things and how those might affect flow um, in terms of, you know, fear, but also believing in yourself and, and how those two go hand in hand. Yeah, I think that, uh, you know, when we talked about fear kills instinct, I think that if you're not in a centered place, if you're, uh, you know, if you're in the past or you're in the future, I think that uh, um, something like fear, anxiety, or worry or doubt, those things come into your mind. And especially in sports, it's all instinct. Like a lion doesn't think when it hunts, it mm. just hunts, right? There's no logic to it. It's all instinct. And I think that when we're out there, you know, on the field or the court, you know, competing, it's all instinct. Um, and in order to be in that instinctive state, you have to stay centered. Um, dribble, passing, and shooting, playing defense, and rotating, and whatever it is in the game, it's all instinctual. You've done it long enough. Um, and I think that if you can't stay in that center place, I think fear is the thing that takes over um, for a lot of players, even though they don't want, want to admit it. Um, I think it takes over, and then it, it affects uh, you know their performance negatively. I've gotten into mindfulness meditation a little bit and, and mm-hmm. looked into the principles of that. And So let's say you take someone who has a fearful thought. Like let's say I get in the game, I'm 0 for 4 from 3, and my self-talk is like, oh, I can't miss this next one. You know, it's more of like a fearful what if. Like what if I miss this next one? What more would pressure. happen? More pressure. Yeah. If, if you're developing a practice like my meditation where you're trying to stay centered and you're not trying to fight thoughts, but you're also trying to control those thoughts in, in a way that's you're not afraid of the moment and you stay present and you stay grounded and centered, how, how would you describe the, I guess, the dichotomy between those two? Seeing a thought for what it is and not fighting it, but also not letting it take you out of the deal in, in, in the present moment. Yeah, I think I think the biggest thing this this a lot of this stuff pertains to just life in general, being good at anything yeah. or being successful at anything. I don't in sports, right? You're kind of in fight mode, right? Because you're in people would say competition. Mm. I don't think that I'm somebody that did really really believes in competition. I think that uh, um, I think that's kind of more ego based. I think that. You know, really, it's just you got a certain level of determination and you choose to have it or you don't. Um, I don't think it's really, really a competition thing. So from the way I've always looked at it was I don't I'm not going to fight the thoughts. I'm not going to fight the things that come into my head. I'm going to let them come in and I'm going to let them leave. The less I spend thinking or fighting about it, the quicker they'll be gone. Right. I think we're all put on the earth to become something right? And in order to become, we have to be first. In order to be, we've got to be at peace, right? So we, the meditation state is the be. The visualization state helps us to become, but you can't start visualizing if you're not in a centered place um, in that state of being, um, uh, you know, from the Bible, be still and know that I'm God, Mm -hmm. right? That's that place, um, you know, to, to be. I think that's why you've got to learn to center yourself and learn the meditation and discipline aspect of meditation first before you go into the visualization state, which which helps you become, which helps you perform out on the court or the field um, or, or, or whatever it may be. Um, because if not, you're in fight or flight mode, which we had talked about, you know, mm-hmm. the other day. And fight or flight mode is is periods of anxiousness, fear, worry, doubt, insecurity, stress. Um, and I think a lot of people, they feel like that gives them energy and it, and it can, I think we've all been in those states before and you try to use those things to propel you forward, but I don't think you can be at your best in, in that state because you're not, you're not instinctive, you're reactionary, you know, uh, it's, it's always better to be strategic than it is reactionary. The things we I was just describing, fear, worry, doubt, insecurity, those are emotions. You know, uh, seeing things as they are, not as your emotions color them, is something that, uh, that I've always uh, reminded myself of. Not everything you think is real, mm. right? A lot of our thoughts are emotion-based and they're super temporary. Um, emotions come and go throughout the day um, and it's exhausting to ride the wave of emotions. Um, so I think kind of that whole combination of the things we just talked about, um, you know, is, 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 is super key, um, going from that meditative to visualization state. 